Okay, so I'm trying Live Scribe for the first time. I kid you not, I have had this pen for like three or four years. It was gifted to me and I never used it until now. But what we're gonna do today is Bacon's Code. I'll first start by writing out what I want to decode. Okay, so Run For It has three, six, seven, eight letters in it. A is in position zero and Z is in position 25. So what I'll start doing is taking, is take each letter and encode it according to binary code. But so we have all that information. So R is going to be one, zero, 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 one. U is one zero one zero zero. N is zero one one zero one. And then we have F that's going to be zero zero one zero one. And O, which is zero one 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 zero. R again one zero 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 one and then we're gonna do it so I is zero one zero 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 T is one zero zero one one okay so we've now decoded uh, or encoded our message once we do that we're going to come up with a sentence that is 40 characters long so, how did I get 40 characters? Well, each letter represents five positions. So I have eight letters here. So eight times five equals 40. So I need a 40, senten 40 letter sentence, okay? All right, so what I came up with was my dog Spot weighs 100 pounds and the lower down and sleeps okay so my first position, my first five letters would represent the R. So I have one, zero, 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 one. Um, my second set of numbers is the U, which is one, zero, one, zero, zero. Notice how I keep going through my, uh, letters through my sentence and so the the letters will overlap some so what was that what am i on mm, five ten okay now i'm on run i'm on the end so that is zero one one zero one and then the f zero zero one zero one now the o zero one 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 zero pounds is going to be one zero 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 one that s is still left over so i'm gonna start with my it so i've got zero or the i zero one zero 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 and uh, the T is going to be one, zero, zero, one, one. Okay. In our, so now we have encoded my dog spot weighs 100 pounds and sleeps. The directions in the exam and in the homework tell us to 
put the zeros in bold. So of course, this is going to be easier to do on a computer, but I'm going to try to show you what it looks like here by just kind of going over my zeros. So all of my zeros are in bold. Very code. Oops, not the zeros. Okay. The letter represented by the zero is in bold. So you could go through and bold all the zeros to remind you to bold all the letters, but you could just learn from my faux pas there and just bold all the letters, which of course, again, will be easier to do with a computer. So I'm just going over the P and T in spot in ways. I'm going over the W and the E. And looks like the H and the O in hundred. So basically everywhere I say see a zero, I am essentially bolding <laughs> the letters. Okay. S N D For those of you using like Microsoft Word or something, make sure you just um, use the bold font thing. Don't try to print it out and do anything spectacular. You don't have to do what I'm doing. I'm just doing it because I'm handwriting it. So what you can tell here is that the messier ones on this page are the ones that um, are bolded. So this is what your final answer should look like. My dog Spot weighs 100 pounds and sleeps with everything that corresponds to a zero value in the encoding being bolded in its letter. Okay? And that is Bacon's code. Thanks for watching.